critique Colin Campbell, whole, rethinking the science of nutrition. Embark on a powerful journey towards improved health and well-being as you explore the book, Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition, by T. Colin Campbell. This summary provides an eye-opening look into the flaws of our so-called healthcare system, the importance of a plant-based diet in preventing and curing diseases, and the role that various institutions and industries play in shaping our understanding of nutrition. The insights shared through extensive research challenge long-held beliefs about protein, antioxidants, and processed foods. Delve deep into the role of reductionism and the need for adopting a holistic approach to nutrition, as you discover the significant impact your diet can have on your overall health and the environment. The Truth About Healthcare the U.S. healthcare system should be called a disease care system as it focuses mainly on treating sick people rather than preventing disease. Medical care is the third biggest killer after cancer and heart disease. Over 100,000 people are killed by prescription drugs every year, and other medical-related deaths are also common. The best way to avoid such deaths is to avoid getting sick in the first place, and the most crucial way to do that is by maintaining a healthy diet consisting mainly of plants and whole foods. This diet can prevent and cure major illnesses, including heart disease and cancer. The China Studies author provides decades of research that shows that a change in diet can reverse advanced heart disease and is more effective in treating illnesses than surgery or prescribed medications. To adopt this healthy diet, people should avoid animal and processed foods and eat natural whole foods without added salt, oils, or sugars. The Dark Side of Excess Protein Excessive protein intake leads to oxidation and promotes diseases, including cancer and heart attacks. Antioxidants found in plants can protect the body against oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical process that can happen in the body when atoms and molecules collide, leading to the production of free radicals. While oxidation helps transfer energy and eliminate toxins, excess of it can promote various diseases such as cancer and heart attacks. Surprisingly, researchers have found that too much animal protein in the diet can also lead to oxidation. Rats exposed to a known carcinogen but fed a low-protein diet had no cases of cancer, while every rat on a high-protein diet developed cancer. Human trials have shown similar results. To protect against oxidation, you can consume antioxidants that plants produce to protect themselves. When you eat these plants, you can absorb these antioxidants and stay healthy. The production of antioxidants during photosynthesis turns the sun's rays into energy and produces free radicals which are harmful to plants and humans alike. Therefore, antioxidant-rich plants protect themselves, and we can also benefit from them. This knowledge puts into question the misconceptions around protein intake and, hopefully, will empower people to protect themselves better. The Pitfalls of Reductionism Our reliance on reductionism in modern science can lead to a limited understanding of the world around us. While useful for simplifying complex ideas, reductionism can also lead us to forget that our tools and methods are merely filters, not the full picture. This can result in errors and misjudgment highlighting the need for a philosophy of holism, which values the overall system. In more complex systems, such as the human body, understanding individual parts does not equate to understanding the whole. Ultimately, a comprehensive understanding of the big picture is necessary for a complete understanding of how the world functions. The Myth of Nutritional Labels Nutritional labels can oftentimes provide too much detail which can be overwhelming for consumers. Instead of relying solely on them, people should prioritize a varied whole food diet. Are you someone who religiously checks nutritional labels before purchasing food? It turns out that this degree of meticulousness might not be necessary. While it's important to know about the ingredients and nutritional information of the food you're consuming, going too deep into the specifics can do more harm than good. It's unrealistic to try to get exactly 100% of the recommended daily allowance of every nutrient since different foods and nutrients are absorbed differently by our body. Plus, nutritional labels can come across as a mathematical equation, 
putting too much emphasis on specific nutrients and not the numerous others that aren't listed. The abundance of percentages and values can also be overwhelming for some, making them less likely to engage with this information altogether. Bioavailability contributes to nutrient variability, as the proportion of a substance that is absorbed by the body varies. Consuming a specific amount of a nutrient is no guarantee that your body will use exactly that amount, it may use more or less depending on its needs. Additionally, the amount of nutrients in different foods can vary greatly based on the soil quality, sunlight exposure, and other factors. Rather than obsessing over nutritional labels, the best way to get a varied and balanced diet is by consuming whole foods. By eating a diverse array of fruits and vegetables, in particular, you can ensure that you're getting the necessary nutrients without needing to fuss over labels. So, next time you're at the grocery store, focus on the quality of the food rather than just the nutritional label. Misconceptions about vitamin supplements Over half of the U.S. population takes vitamin supplements regularly, but most of these supplements are a waste of money. While some individuals may benefit from supplements, they make up only a fraction of the overall market. Studies show that supplements do not provide any long-term health benefits, and whole foods like fruits and vegetables are far more nutritious. The vitamin supplement industry is reaping the benefits of false advertising, as these supplements do not contain the hundreds and thousands of other nutrients found in whole foods. This summary provides insight into the misconceptions about vitamin supplements and the importance of whole foods in obtaining necessary nutrients. Plant-Based Diet for Personal and Environmental Health A plant-based diet not only promotes personal health, but also benefits the environment. To combat global warming, reducing the number of livestock is crucial as the livestock industry is responsible for up to 51% of greenhouse gas emissions. Methane gases produced by cows and cattle are a significant concern as they are more effective at capturing heat than CO2. Modern factory farming practices are cruel and unsustainable, as animals are subjected to overcrowded conditions, mutilation, and hormone and antibiotic injections. To take a stand against these inhumane practices and contribute to a healthier planet, it's essential to stop supporting factory farmed meat and dairy industries. The livestock on these farms consume more food each year than all the people on the planet combined, leading to poverty, starvation, and death. Switching to a plant-based diet can combat these issues and promote personal and environmental health. Profiting over people's health The correlation between corporate greed and national health policies in America is undeniable. The medical, pharmaceutical, and food industries, along with insurance companies, donate millions of dollars to promote policies that benefit their interests. Instead of addressing the root causes of diseases, charities and foundations often focus on treating the symptoms of a single disease. The mainstream media also reinforces reductionism by promoting miracle cures without scientific evidence. True progress in promoting healthier lifestyles and nutrition requires the media to engage in unbiased journalism and for industries to prioritize people's health over profit. As you have seen in Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition, it is essential to critically evaluate the conventional practices in the healthcare system and shift the focus towards preventative measures through a holistic and plant-based diet for a healthier life. While flaws in the industry seemingly conspire to keep us ill and informed, taking charge of our wellness is within our control. Eat diverse whole foods, avoid relying on supplements, and listen to your body to reap the benefits of good nutrition. As we move forward, let us consider adopting a sustainable diet to reduce our environmental impact and understand that health and nutrition are so much more profound than mere numbers. In the quest for health, it is vital to remember that embracing a holistic approach will not only lead to physical well-being but also positively impact the planet as a whole.